Hello everybody and welcome to Work to Game. My name is Brian and in this guide we're going to be breaking down the various versions of Final Fantasy XIV and pretty much how to get started. This is not going to go over what job you should play. This is just going to primarily focus in on what version you should start out with, where you should go to get your registration codes, and more. We've been getting a lot of new questions from a lot of new players, and they're a little bit confused. If I've started on the free trial, can I take my character into the full game? Or, I have the starter edition, what version should I get after this? How do I upgrade my account? Where do I put my registration codes in? So, with receiving all those questions and hopefully providing them answers, it's clear that I think there's a little bit of confusion how people can manage their account. So, if that's something that you're looking for, this should hopefully be the guide for you. But if for some reason, after watching this guide, you still do not understand or you still have a question that you, that you need more clarification on, please ask in the, in the comments below, in the questions below. Please ask in the comments below and also be sure to hit us up on Discord if you're needing something a little bit more timely. We have a whole community over there uh, and that will be helpful. Now, for all of these things, links will be in the description below as well, so please check out the description of this video if you're needing more information or a direct link somewhere. So, without further ado, there are a lot of different versions of Final Fantasy XIV, so I can easily understand how it can be confusing to start. Now, what we're going to focus in on first is the free trial. So, the free trial will let you play for free forever. Uh, up to level 35. It currently has a level 35 cap at the time of this recording, and you can get to it at freetrial.finalfantasy14.com. Link in the description. <laughs> anyway, you can easily start and sign up from here and start playing this game on both PC, you know, on <laughs> PlayStation. It, it works, and it pretty much gets you ready to rock and roll with it. Uh, again, so any work that you put into the free trial you could obviously carry over into your full edition, but you're gonna either have to purchase a starter edition or the complete edition, and we'll talk about those here in a second. So again, like I said, the, the value of the free trial is the fact that you have no subscription fee, you can play all the starter jobs up to level 35 to kind of give you a taste of this game. I do recommend starting out with the free trial and seeing if you like it. The game just gets better. The game just gets better, obviously past level 50, a lot of praise for its expansions, especially its latest expansion, Shadowbringers, but this is just to give you a taste, because while the game does get better, it's still the game. You'll see the world, you see the characters, you see the races, and you can go from there. Plus, you can always change a race if you don't have access to all the races with the Starter Edition, and that's fine. And you can do that because even with what we'll show you in the store, they have promotions all the time for how to kind of do that and how to upgrade and change your race because the race is just cosmetic only. It has no impact on your gameplay. It's just all preference at that point. So anyway, check out free trial if you <laughs> if you haven't already. But also if you have, note that your free trial, your character will continue if you use your, <laughs> your same account. So let's talk about the different editions. We're gonna focus first on the starter editions for new players. You can see it here for Mac, PC download, etc. You can obviously go to the store if you can find a really good deal. This is just the base A Realm Reborn game. This is a level cap of 50. This is gonna require you subscribe to the game. And at the same time, it does come with a you know 30 day subscription for the game itself. So you're not gonna to have to like buy the game and then subscribe. The value in this is that it's $20. So let's say you started with a free trial, you hit level 35, and you're like, yep, yeah, I'm gonna keep going, and you wanna get to 50, you wanna do all the ARR content, well, you know what, 20 bucks gets you in, gets you playing for a month, you should easily be able to hit cap within plenty of time and complete the ARR story uh, within plenty of time before your subscription runs out. But that's just the base game. After that, you're not gonna have access to Dark Knight, you're not gonna have access to Astrologian or Machinist or the new jobs okay. like Dancer or uh, Gunbreaker or even the expanded jobs from you know, Stormblood, which would be Red Mage, or Samurai. If you want access to all of those, I would recommend and point you over to the Complete Edition if you're starting out fresh from a free trial or just starting out fresh overall. This is the base game and all the expansions up to Shadowbringers. Now, you do not need to go from the Starter Edition to the Complete Edition because if you do purchase just Shadowbringers, you get all previous expansions to that point. So Shadowbringers includes Heaven's Word, Stormblood, and Shadowbringers for essentially $60. Where the value comes in is that if you pick the PC download, or PC download, Mac download, whatever, uh, or PlayStation 4, is that 
with the expansion and having all of that, and this is the collector's edition, which is the $60, the typical expansion cost is 40. Again, you get all those previous expansions. So I've seen a lot of people ask like, do I need to buy Heaven's Word? Do I need to buy Stormblood and then buy Shadowbringers? No, you can just purchase Shadowbringers and you're good to go. If you purchase for some reason Stormblood, you will have Heaven's Word and Stormblood, but you won't have Shadowbringers. If you purchase just uh, <laughs> Heaven's Word, you're just gonna have Heaven's Word. So I don't think anybody's really selling those out there, but just keep in mind in case you try to, somebody comes up with a deal, quote unquote, for you. So the complete edition would be essentially if somebody has uh, not gotten the starter edition, uh, that would be an entry point in which that they can just purchase everything and get all the expansions in one purchase. Now, you can see the complete edition is just those. They are not the uh, <laughs> the collector's edition once ends up providing some glamour, which is stuff that you can apply to your gear to make it look different, or like mounts and things like that. Uh, if you want those though, if you are like, okay, I really like this game, I got the complete edition, you can always go out to the MOG station and you can upgrade for the various, you know, for like 20 bucks to get the, the those various items digitally. So it's it's primarily kind of digital items. The physical editions obviously cost a lot more and they include some physical items. So just kind of look around uh, Amazon, eBay, things like that, and kind of make a decision on that. You can also buy a digital time code here uh, for 60 days in this case. What it does is they have do have promotions and one going on right now for a free Fantasia if you do so. And you also get a Fantasia from just playing the ARR and completing that game. That allows you to change your race. That's what I was kind of alluding to earlier. So keep that in mind. Those are the versions and those are the expansions for the game. As this continues on, if you're watching this uh, with the with 6.0, whatever we end, whatever ends up being called, hopefully not something that its acronym is you know SB again. But <laughs> if you're watching this in the future, then thank you for checking it out. We might have a new guide up on this, but the same thing applies. The new expansion will you know apply to all pre and include all previous expansions, etc. This is the kind of the pattern they've been on, and unless that changes, I don't know if we'll need to update this guide, but you guys can let me know as well. Now there's one other thing I kind of want to talk about that I kind of touched on. Let's say we talk about 6.0. Let's talk about a promotional thing. Um, this is all having to deal with how you register these codes. Whether you get a physical edition or a digital edition, it's all really a digital product, whether you have a box or not. That's up to you. You're going to get a code or you might get a couple of codes and this is where things can kind of get confusing. Let's talk about pre-order bonuses and promotional codes. Those will come with some instructions and a website that you go to. So those codes look different from a registration code. And so we're going to jump over here to the MOG station real quick. And again, just to remind you guys, links in the description below. So with the MOG station, this is where your registration codes begin. But if you get a promotional code, pre-order bonuses, all of that, follow the instructions, fill out that, you know, whatever the site it takes you to put that code in there. It's then going to give you a new code. I know, <laughs> I'm sorry, I didn't design it. Uh, and that new code will end up being what you actually plug in here. Now you can see with your account status and your version when you come to the MOG station itself that you know what kind of account type do you have, what uh, what versions do you have. You can see I've, I don't have any of the Mac versions. You can see what expansions you have and you can see what platforms you have supported. So I have the collector edition on all. I have the PlayStation version for Heaven's Word but I haven't got Stormblood or Shadowbringers. And then I've got Windows. What does this mean like to anybody? So. As long as I log into a Windows-based PC, I can play all the Shadowbringers content and so on. If for some reason I go log into a PlayStation 4, it's not going to restrict me, but I don't have access to the areas of Stormblood, the jobs, or Shadowbringers areas. So it will like say, hey, what, what are you trying to do? You're not in the right zone. And I don't know if, that, if it teleports me. Honestly, I've never tried it. Maybe I will if we get a working PlayStation again. Anyhow, that's kind of how that works. So you have to think about your, your, your platform. So if you're jumping around like Chris, who's on Mac and Windows and PlayStation, you got to have all these filled out if you're going to just easily you transition from platform to platform. It's easy to do. You have cloud backup. There's a lot of tools and we've got guides on the channel for it if you want to check those out. My voice just cracked a little bit, but whatever. <laughs> and uh, that's important. Now, let's talk about actually entering in those registration codes. If you click on the Your Account section, you can come down here to enter item code under registration codes. From here, you can see all the various characters and stuff that you have listed because sometimes your item code, if it's not like essentially the full game list, uh, is uh, is like an item specific to maybe a character. So it's gonna have you pick that, you can kind of see what I've got. This is where you're gonna fill out the code. You're gonna hit next, 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 follow the prompts. 
and that's going to be how it applies to your account. Now, the, the Mongo Station is how you manage your account. There's a lot of information here, payment history, optional items if you want to purchase Fantasias, and other things of the sort. So that you're going to see like all kinds of things. There's plenty of things. This is also the cash shop. It does not exist currently in the game of Final Fantasy XIV, but it exists here. This is where you can buy jump potions and story skip potions. It's really up to you what you need. But still, all that still is going to apply to your account who you're using it and, and going from there. This is where you manage your subscription, manage your ret retainer and your companion app, and who knows what else, they've got plenty of space for additional items, as well as adding in additional platform things as well. And then on the homepage, you can easily jump in here. You can also click on buy, and it's gonna take you to the store where you can then buy the games, in this case from PlayStation as well. So keep that in mind. I just wanted to point that out. Last bit of note, hopefully that's really what you need to know to get started. Uh, you can always check out the Lodestone. This is kind of where we have various information on what's coming up with the game and more. You also have a forum so that if you need to go and ask questions or get engaged with the community beyond us here at work to game which we highly encourage. We don't want to lock you down. You don't have to be a part of the workforce just to engage in the 14 community. It's a beautiful and amazing community. We hope that you uh, check it out. Uh, the Lodestone's really great for patch notes. And we cover stuff that's on here. Uh, I think also I'd like to point out Mioni, if you guys have not found him. He is an excellent content creator, and he likes to cover a lot of the little stories also here on the Lodestone in case you miss anything or we don't end up getting to it in a timely fashion. Anyway, so uh, <laughs> we talked about the free trial. We talked about the different versions and what you should look to pick. Sometimes you see promotional things for the like starter editions. We saw that with Twitch. That was a really good deal. And then we talked about expansions as well as the complete version, etc. Hopefully that helps answer your questions. Hopefully this will help you uh, know where to go with your, <laughs> with your account and all that. Last thing before we sign off, and I just want to say thank you for watching this video if you've still stuck with us up to this point. There is a refer a friend campaign. Uh, this will open up various items for both you and the person you recruit. So if you are playing the game, and you're wanting to help out a bud, be sure to check this out so you can kind of get those bonuses and they can get those bonuses. You do it enough and there's an amazing amount and more for you, so just keep that in mind. Uh, it's a really good system. Be sure to check it out and go from there. So, I'm gonna leave you at that. Uh, <laughs> let me know if you have any questions in the comments below. Be sure to check out our Discord if you need any additional help. I hope you have an amazing time with this game and uh, <laughs> and I'll be seeing you in Eorzea or on the first or who knows where the game's going to take us into the future. But for work to game, my name is Brian. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you have an amazing day and I'll talk to you soon. Take care. Whoa, you guys are the best. Jorge, Kyle, Philip, 31 Edwards, Rock Druid, Corey Longwood, Aaron, Axis, Hambone, Lady Wild to plays <laughs> CN Nabs, this is going too fast. Christopher, Phil, Shun, Dragons, Soul, Keen, Knights, Assassin, Carlos, Sherry, Robert, Leyland, Davon, Tim, Judge of World, Terra, Soro, Scrub Lord, Trevor, Mill, Little Almond, 70s, Kimber, Tyler, oh my god, I'm so sorry, Cody, Legend, Armin, Carlos, Edlis, Jonathan, Jade, Sai, Derek, Brandon, Aaron, Riku, Daryl, Chemistrol, Lauren, The Wolf, The, the Gar, Kelly, Anthony, Solid, John, Huskry, oh my god, uh, everybody, Dark Later, Christopher, uh, Vestman, Sean, Nopi, Brian, Tom, Dylan, Silent, whew, oh, I missed your names, I'm sorry, I love you all, <laughs> oh my gosh, that was tough.